आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब सो इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोन एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन सेव ई मेल अटैचमेंट टू शेयर पॉइंट फोल्डर आर वन ड्राइव फोल्डर इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोन शो यू शेयर पॉइंट बट यू कैन डू द सेम फॉर द वन ड्राइव सो लाइक वेन एवर ई मेल अराइव विद अटैचमेंट एंड यू वॉन्ट दो अटैचमेंट टू गेट सेव टू a folder so i created this simple folder here in the sharepoint site and what you need to do is create automated cloud flow let's name it save attachment and trigger will be when email arrives okay when new email arrives uh this is new designer but i prefer using old designer so i am going to switch to the old designer uh, you can switch it back from the here okay in here you can select your folder like if you apply a rule to your email and emails are going uh, to different folder you can choose folder from here i keep the inbox and now in here make sure you enable this and include attachments and also make sure you enable this only with attachment like it will include the attachments in the trigger and also it will trigger only for the email with attachments okay uh, make sure you update these two and then next will be create file action uh this one so i need to choose the sharepoint site then i need to choose the folder like where i want to save these files and then for the file name uh, you can search for the attachment name this one when you click on it it will add loop automatically so it will work for single attachment and multiple attachment and the file for the file content uh you can it will automatically suggest this or you can search for the content and choose attachment content okay uh these are two simple steps now your flow is ready uh just save it for some reason it is taking a lot of time okay so after this you just need to save it and then attach your flow and it will automatically save whenever new email arrives attachment in here okay so whenever email from specific Yeah, you can also limit it to specific email address as well in the setting. Like uh, by limiting the two, you can also limit it to subject filter by limiting it to the specific subject, and also you can adjust other criteria. Like you can also adjust uh, where email is coming from and other thing as well. Okay, if you want, you can also add condition here. Like after in this. you can condition let's say if file name contain this then only save the file okay can you do let me know in case you have any question or there is uh, something that you want to do and don't understand how to do it 
I will make tutorial for it. Thank you.